Hi, style lovers. It's Simi and Alyssa here, and I'm so excited. I have a new set, and I have more fashion and tips to share with you guys. I'm super excited. So let's jump right into it. Today, I'm gonna talk about reinventing your style. I get a lot of questions about where to start, what pieces to add to your closet, when you wanna start reinventing your style. So today, I'm gonna talk about all of that and cover everything. As far as men's fashion, a lot I get a lot of questions as far as what pieces to add into your closet. So where you wanna start is, if your style is like pretty outdated, if you're into like the weekender jean or the uh, kind of bootleg flare type of jean, you definitely wanna get out of that. What you wanna start with is a straight leg pant. That will get you more updated and out of that outdated 90s type of look. Now there's some things from the 90s that we are bringing into the new trendier fashion. However, you don't wanna lose those things, but you wanna make sure you incorporate it correctly to make sure that your style looks up to date. So like in past years, we did the plaid shirt. Now we're probably wrapping it around our waist, just like in the 90s, like how we used to, but you probably wouldn't wear the plaid shirt just plain. You may wanna add like a jacket or a cardigan to it, not like a plain plaid shirt, that is, that's not cute. We're gonna add a jacket or a cardigan and also with this straight leg, that would look nice as well. So just remember, when incorporating items in your closet to reinvent your style, you just wanna complete a clean, polished look. So anything baggy or anything that doesn't really fit your body type is a no-go. You need to get it out of your closet immediately. As far as women, you definitely want to make sure your sizes are accurate because getting clothing that does not fit your body type or is not pleasing to your body type, it just doesn't look good. So you definitely want to make sure that everything fits perfectly when inventing your new style because that's important. You can't be out there looking crazy and your clothes don't fit. As far as curvy girls, you definitely want to make sure that you have the correct foundation. You want to have a girdle if need be, spanked if need be, you want to have a bra that fits you. You probably want to go to Ashley Store, Elaine Bryant, to get your breast size so that you have a correct bra. Because you definitely don't want to be spilling out of your cup, because that's not cute. For more curvy girl fashion and trendier clothes, I shop at ASOS. I love ASOS. They have everything that you can think of. Jackets, outerwear, um, gloves, accessories, anything trendy, they're gonna have it. And they're gonna have it in your size. So that's the go-to store to definitely go to for curvier girl fashion. Um, that's up to date. Today I'm wearing a white blazer from Forever 21, their plus size line. I'm also wearing a orange um, sweater that I got from H&M decades ago and I'm just wearing today and I also have a lace blue um, pencil skirt that I got from Simply B. Now Simply B I love their clothes however you definitely should go a size down. This skirt um, was a little too big and I had to get it altered so that it fit the way that I wanted to. So that's just a little tip for Simply B but I still love their clothing and they go to a size 26 I believe so yeah, they have really cute, they also have trendy clothing as well, so you definitely can shop there for all the curvy girls that love fashion. For the women that are not as curvilicious as I am, you can still shop at ASOS. They have great um, trendy clothes. I get a lot of clothes from my clients um, from ASOS. And Topshop, they have also a maternity line for any um, expecting mothers. Um, and they have great clothing as well. So you can definitely shop at ASOS as well. It's for all girls, any size. So I also wanted to touch on my personal journey um, with recreating my style, because I wasn't always as fabulous as this. Um, I first started with my hair. Um, I went on a natural hair journey, which you probably can't tell, because I never wear my hair <laughs> curly, um, which is very rare, but um, I do embrace my curls and um, that was the first step in recreating my style. And then I touched in a little bit of makeup. I didn't do this today, all this fabulous, but um, I, that's what I started doing. I started dabbling into makeup and seeing which you know shades I like and everything like that. And then I got into my clothes. Um, <laughs> I was 
was a mess when I first started dressing trendy. Um, I guess because it wasn't really a large um, range of clothing that was trendy or up to date. Um, the only thing that was around during that time was like Ashley Stewart and their clothes fitted very bigger than um, what it should. It definitely wasn't true to size. So I started off wearing like Ashley Stewart and Wet Seal and Aeropostale. Like I was into all those. And now um, I just started searching for plus size clothing that fit my body and that I thought was cute and that I feel comfortable in. And here we are. So I would definitely tell anyone that's trying to recreate their style to definitely do your research and you know you can also have like a favorite celebrity style crush that you can relate to or that you want to you know kind of have your style be like so that you can get some ideas on you know what key pieces to have in your closet dresses you know you want to be more girly you want to you know chic it up you know however you want to do i think those are some easy tips to um, start recreating your style the last thing that I want to discuss is a big huge thing in plus size fashion. Ashley Graham, the model, was the first plus size model in Sports Illustrated and that is a huge big deal and huge mark in plus size fashion. I adore this model. She's awesome at what she does and she also liked my page on Instagram so I was really excited about that. But the feature is great, I love it. And she's wearing um, swimsuits for all, um, which I got my swimsuit from. So I love their um, swimsuits. Definitely great for curvy girls, take note. And um, yeah, so shout out to her for that um, feature. That was just amazing. So as you guys can see, I definitely have a new set. So shout out to Pearly Big Creative for um, all of the videography. Um, fabulousness of today also i was beat by slay by b michera shout out to you um, shout out to my bestie robbie graham for slaying my hair today follow him on instagram at rj graham he's a fashion enthusiast so don't expect to get any hair done because he ain't doing it but shout out to him thanks boo so guys, thanks again for all of your time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. See you later.